Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn how one scale shape can become all seven modes. Okay, I'm gonna teach you one scale shape that is really easy to memorize and that can act as all seven modes around the guitar fretboard. Okay, and that is possible because the standard tuning is a mathematical achievement. It's a highly mathematical instrument, the guitar, and it enables us to move the same shapes around. Okay, it's all thanks to the standard tuning. So let's start with a Dorian. A Dorian is really easy to memorize because it includes the A minor pentatonic scale inside it. We all know the A minor pentatonic scale, right? It's eight five on the first and second strings. And then it's seven five on the next three. And eight five again on the sixth. So it's eight five, eight five, seven five, seven five, seven five, and eight five. That's the A minor pentatonic scale. In order to turn it into Dorian, all you need to do is to add a couple of notes to it. So now on the first and second strings, you have 8, 7, 5. And then on the third and fourth, you have 7, 5, and 4. And then the fifth string is seven and five, just like before. And the sixth string is just like the first string, it's eight, seven, five. Okay, so this is a Dorian, okay, which is a minor mode. And this works very well over a blues, okay? Blues in A, or just the D chord in blues in A, as you're gonna find out. So it works well over funk progressions like A minor seven and D. Okay? And You see, it works very well over, um, over that Dorian progression, A minor 7 and D, okay? mainly used in funk. So uh, if you only use the pentatonic, um, it, it's missing a color. So why not add that Dorian sound? Now the really cool thing about this, the really cool thing about this is that if you have A7, and you're in D minor. You can turn this into a Phrygian. A Phrygian by taking this same scale shape two frets down. Two frets down. This is now a Phrygian. You believe me now, right? This is a really cool trick. A really cool trick. And what happens if you want to make it a mixolydian? If you want to make it a mixolydian in order to solo over that blues in A, play it on 12, okay? Play it as E pentatonic. But if you play E Dorian, it becomes A Mixolydian, okay? Because of how the modes are built. Now, if you want to understand the theory better and understand it more in depth, 
check out my courses. I have 25% off for the summer. I'm offering this uh, for 25% off for the whole summer. My Break Your Boundaries course program, check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. I have 14 courses in the bundle and they're all available to you for 25% off for the whole summer. And there's also an acoustic guitar giveaway, okay? A collapsible guitar. It's a spectacular chance. So go to lickandref.com slash courses. Now, if you play A7 and you play that Dorian shape on 12, okay? on E, okay? Because if you have A7, your dominant chord would be E7, right? So play it there. Sounds weird, right? But it also contains the A7 chord in there. You get that, you get that Mixolydian sound. It's not, you're not playing this as E Dorian, you're playing this as A Mixolydian, okay? If you play it with A as your bass note, you see? Instant Mixolydian. Now, what happens when you want to play Lydian? When you want to play Lydian? Okay, Lydian is A, and then you have B major. So, the answer is simple. You play the major pentatonic scale, as a Dorian scale, and you get the Lydian scale. So basically, if you have A minor, it's five. It's on five, right? The pentatonic. If you have A major, the pentatonic goes three frets down to F sharp pentatonic. So it's A major pentatonic, okay? So if you play the Dorian shape there, you get the Lydian scale. Hey, you can play it 12 frets above. You get that Lydian sound. It's a weird sound to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's just beautiful. What about minor and major? Okay, minor and major. Well, minor, we already played Dorian, but if we want to play a normal A minor, We're gonna play the D Dorian scale. Okay? The D Dorian scale, because A minor derives from C major, and D Dorian is the second is the second mode 
in C major. A minor is the uh, the sixth mode. So if you play D Dorian, you get A minor. And what about Locrian? What about Locrian? What about Locrian? <laughs> well, Locrian is rarely, rarely played. Okay? You have the A minor 7 flat 5 chord. Okay? It's an A minor chord up on 4, 5, 5 on strengths 2, 3, and 4 with the A bass. So in order to play the Dorian shape as a Locrian mode, you play it three frets above. Okay, three frets below is the Lydian, three frets above is the Locrian. So if we're playing a Locrian, we'll be playing C Dorian. See, suddenly it becomes cool. Suddenly it's a really cool chord. Too bad you don't really stay on the minor seven flat five. Well, Locrian is a weird mode, a weird mode, but this is the way to turn it into something that you can actually understand and play over, okay? Now, what about major? A, a major, simply A major. What about A major? What's the second degree of the major scale, B, right? A, B. The second degree is Dorian, so it's B. It's just two frets above, so B Dorian is A major. And there you have it. All seven modes. One shape, all seven modes. And this is the way to actually memorize it. This is the way to memorize the fretboard, okay? Those modes and these hacks exist for a reason, okay? No sane human being memorizes the whole fretboard for all seven modes of all 12 keys. You always do comparisons. You always do those little calculations. And on the guitar, it's really easy. Even pianists do these sort of calculations, okay? And other instrumentalists as well. But on the guitar, it's really easy because it's actually the same shape. It's the same fingering. It's the same shape just moving around. Okay, so I will see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun.